And the timing of this severe weather is terrible for hundreds of thousands of people who are trying to fly in and out of our international airport for spring break. We just checked with Orlando International and over the past day through early tomorrow morning, already 379 flights are canceled. This six is Brian Didlake is live at the airport. Brian, I would imagine quite a mess. Yes, Eric, people tell me that this is a bad way to end their vacation. I'm standing in front of Southwest cancellation line. And just to give you a, an idea of how long this line is, I'm in the lobby area of, of OIA and it wraps all the way to the lobby and loops all the way back around to the where we see Southwest at the front of the cancellation line. And one pastor even told me that if they can get out of here soon, they're considered driving home. So if you're in this line right here, your flight is canceled and you're so more than 200 cancellations being reported here at Orlando's International Airport weather impacting flights and ground crews. This Southwest line wrapping around into the lobby full of passengers with canceled flights. We're a little stressed, but we're working on it and we're like I said, we might drive home. As Sam Ligaman says there are families looking at all options to get home. Their plane was set to leave around 5 p.m. back to Indianapolis, yeah. Indiana, but now so she's not sure what may happen. We don't know. We're trying. Everything's I mean, everything's canceled even out tomorrow. Others like Steve Hanna, he says they've been waiting in line for about two hours and is hoping to find an alternative route back home to Nebraska. We'll have to wait three days to get, but maybe we can fly to Chicago or anywhere right now. Just get on the airplane and go. As passengers wait, each are trying to look at their bright side, saying to each other, Good luck, y'all. <laughs> we in this together. And as you can hear, each passenger is telling me that they're just trying to get home and they'll just have to wait and see what Southwest tells them, what their airline is telling them on what they can do to expedite their way back home. But for now, we're live in Orlando. Brian Ditlake, getting results, News 6.